Hey, I'm Vlad with Blow Marble, and I'm gonna show you the top five ways of coloring any concrete stone, and in our case today, brick molds. I'm gonna leave all the materials I use in the description below, along with some timestamps so you can come back and find the techniques that you like the most easier. Technique number one is using one solid color for the entire brick and nothing else. Here's the mold I'm gonna be using, and there's the pigment. The first step is spraying some release onto our mold. And now I'm gonna pour this oxide pigment into the concrete. You could add it into water if you already pre-measured it, mix it in, add the water into your concrete. Let's pour that concrete into the mold. Be sure to shake it like this so the concrete sets all the way down to the bottom and leaves no air pockets. For example, I think this would look really cool with like really dark gray mortar or just completely white mortar. Keep in mind that with this coloring method, you're gonna rely really heavily on lighting. Here's a little pro tip, you could use a bag of plaster of Paris, which costs like 10 bucks, it's super lightweight, it's super cheap, but keep in mind it is a little bit more brittle than concrete. You could cast this without pigmenting it at all, stick it to a completely white wall with silicone, with uh, plaster itself, it doesn't really matter what you do, and um, put some washer lights on top of it, and I'll show you how that looks. If you have a white wall, you don't even need to use a mortar. Now for technique number two. Here's the mold I'm using, here's the pigments I'm using. Of course, first thing we do is put on the release, spray it on, and the second step is throwing oxide pigments all over this mold. Now we're gonna take one of those brushes and rub everything in like crazy. Now again, we're gonna add oxide pigments for that base color of the brick. Now again, we take that concrete and pour it in. Take one of these bricks, Spray some water and wash it off with a brush. I really like the way this looks, but you have to keep in mind that the sooner you demold it and the sooner that you start washing those pigments off with water, the better they're gonna look, the easier those pigments are gonna come off. If you wait a little bit too long, they might not even come off at all. Now we're at number three, the staining technique. The mold's right here, the pigment's right there. Put on our release. Again, we're gonna add oxide pigments into the concrete. Now it's time for the actual staining. I'm gonna use a pump sprayer to spray this stain all over these bricks. So the stain colored a little bit of the top, but most of it got sunk down into those deep points inside of the, the brick. Cool thing about the water-based stain is that it's water soluble. So if you messed anything up, if you don't like the way something looks, you could always like wipe it down with a wet rag or a sponge and move that stain around however you want it to go. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're gonna get into technique number four, powder tossing. The mold I'm using is right here, and the pigments are right here. Again, we spray our release. Now this is similar to technique number two, but we're not gonna rub anything in with a brush, we're gonna leave it as it is. Again, we're gonna mix some oxide pigments into the concrete. And without mixing any of those pigments in, just dump that concrete out. It's pretty cool, it looks like you just exposed bricks in a really, really old building. And here's method number five, multicolor. Now here's a disclaimer, don't use the same mold for different colors, especially light ones, because the colors that you have right here that you can see even after I wash it off stay inside the mold, and there's a chance that they can bleed through into the other ones. So if you have molds where you cast red bricks, cast red bricks. Use another mold for casting black bricks, especially if you're casting some light colors like white bricks. Step one is spraying that release on. And then I'm gonna take different colors, and gently dap it in to each one. You saw how much less pigment I used in this than in the powder standing technique, and it gives it a little bit of a different type of texture. But if you do think there's still a little bit too much powder on some of those bricks, you can wash them off easily also. 